I was made aware of the comments, yeah, but the people's comments that we concentrate on are within the four walls of the changing room and, and our family and friends. Uh, and to be honest, he's entitled to his opinion. Um, but we, we're just concentrating on ourselves. Our, our thing is that, you know, I felt at times we were very much in control of that game, um, especially the first half. Uh, and we made a, a couple of cost, costly errors that, um, you know, were bad for us. So, as I say, I did believe we were, we were in a, a very good place then. Um, and, and he disagreed. But he's, uh, he's entitled to his opinion. Um, and we'll leave it at that. Yeah, 100%, I think, for us, as Gregor touched on, it's a massive game for, for everybody involved in Scottish rugby and Scotland as a nation. So we're excited. It's not often you get two weeks prep going into an international game. So we're excited about the challenge of going down to Twickenham and, and, and playing, as Gregor said, one of the best teams in the world. That um, You give them time and space, they're going to be dangerous. Uh, if you get in their face and make it confrontational, then it makes it for a, a tasty encounter. So... We're excited for it. We're massively excited for it. Um, and as I say, we've got a good couple of weeks prep now to to make sure we're in the best place possible to, to go down to Twickenham and, uh, and pick up a win. Yeah, 100%. I think, you know, for myself and the rest of the boys and everyone involved in professional sport, we realise we're in a very privileged position to, to still be doing what we love. I think if you go back to the, the Champions Cup, um, you know, I was very, very nervous in the lead up to that game because I know how good Finn Russell can be um, and how good he was on the day. And I think at the end of the day that he's one of my very, very close friends uh, and to be able to share a beer with him after the game was was brilliant. He was out on the phone to his parents and you know, I was doing a little bit of um, of media work at the other end of the pitch and just on my way back in, um, we decided to sit down and have a beer together and, and Johnny Gray came out as well. I think... Johnny was a bit upset the fact that the photos of of myself and Finn, and he was sitting on the tackle bad um, a couple of meters away. But you know, look, it it was to catch up with Finn to see how he was to to share a beer, um, to chew each other's ears off, and and get excited about coming back into Scotland camp. And as I said, um, he was he was one of the first people I went to see after the game, even when the boys were celebrating. I went up to to congratulate him on his performance and and see how he was. And um, as I say, he's a very, very good friend of mine that it was good to, to catch up and have a beer after the game. Yeah, 100%. I think we were all in agreement as uh, as captains that, um, you know, players' health and safety and, and the management as well, everyone involved in the Lions was um, was our primary focus. And, uh, you know, the, the Lions is such a, an incredible um, time for everyone involved, to everyone that are fans of rugby watching in. Um, so, yeah, hopefully uh, uh, in some way that the Lions will continue in 2021. And um, now we'll, we'll look forward to that if, if it goes ahead. Thank you. Yeah, definitely. I think it's, you know, the focus for every single professional rugby player. We want to be in a position to, to win test matches, to win trophies. Um, and everybody will be the exact same. You know, us as a Scotland team, we are very much concentrating on um, you know the England game. But we we'd love to be in a position to to pick up trophies, and uh, we're going to work incredibly hard over the next few weeks to make sure we're we're in a great position. I've enjoyed it. I've really enjoyed the opportunity. I think, you know, for me, I'm in a very privileged position um, to be given an opportunity to lead uh, my country. Uh, and I've enjoyed the challenges. I think the the thing for me is that it's not going to really change the way that I play. I want to go out there and express myself and, and make sure I'm doing my job for the team. Um, but it also comes with added responsibility of making sure that everyone in the camp is in a, in a very good place. So, as I say, every, everything for me, I'm learning on the job. I'm always looking to, to better myself, to better the team. Um, but I'm excited. It's a very, very exciting opportunity and one that I fully intend to make the most of. Yeah, a little bit. I think you normally we we bring them in, we um, enjoy each other's company, but we we're here to do a job. We get them on the training field and and get them learning quickly uh, and add in their little bits to to the squad. I think in terms of after kind of first caps, I think everything's a little bit different nowadays. But um, 
we're just making sure that they settle in at the the quickest um, the quickest chance they've got, uh, and making sure they're comfy in their surroundings. Uh, but we also want them here uh, to express themselves and and enjoy themselves and to understand that they're here for a reason. They're here because they're good enough, um, and we want them to to show their class. So you know, I myself and the rest of the the senior boys are are very much looking forward to having them in. Uh, and we're excited to see what they can do on the international stage. Yeah, it's it's a it's a tough one for the opener, isn't it? Um, team that won last year's Six Nations and the Autumn Nations Cup um, on their own patch, uh, but it focuses our minds. Uh, we know we'll have to be at our best uh, to be in a position to win that game, uh, and we've also got to look at how we improve from our last campaign, improve from the Six Nations, but also improve from when we were together in autumn. Uh, and that's that's all you do, you want to do. You want to go through that process of of working out how we can get better and how we can beat England uh, a week on Saturday. Yeah, well, we're looking for for him to bring um, his own strengths, uh, his own way of of looking at the game and and playing. Uh, he's a he's a very much a heads up attacker. Uh, he's got a skill set to go alongside um, really good decisions, but he's a competitive defender too. So we want we want to see um, those strengths come out with us. But w within our camp, um, it's about how much he can build connections with the guys around him, um, players that he won't have played alongside before, and also just getting into our way of playing. So we've had two two days of training where he's fitted in really well. Uh, he's certainly a connected with it with the players off off the field he seems to be enjoying the camp and uh, he's training well so it, it reminds me of when when Darcy Graham came out the squad a year ago and a, a young player just brings that little bit of energy and that fearlessness that, that they have um, and, it, and it adds to to who's already here in this uh, camp yeah it's just fit to play this weekend so um, he's lucky he's getting a day off training today so it'll be even fresher uh, yeah but, um, the training sessions will be going on uh, during today's so uh, Jamie Ritchie was the only one that was um, uh, managed yesterday, but he, he uh, I've been watching a little bit of it, and he's he's been taking part in the non-contact area, so he's on that return to play. Uh, so everybody that's here um, has been training um, almost fully, uh, just the exception of Jamie. Uh, Alex Craig stayed with his club this week. Um, he was just recovering from a, a calf niggle, but we we've heard from the club that he should be. Um, available to, to train fully and play this weekend at, at this moment it looks like he'll be staying with us he's staying with us this weekend and given the um, the restrictions that are the travelling between um, the UK and France and more from the French side uh, and the quarantine uh, regulations that you'd have to go through it looks like he will be staying with us now that, that may change uh, as a Covid situation um it changes all the time, but as we currently stand, it looks like he'll be here for the, the whole period. It's, it's the biggest game every year for us, uh, for our, our players, but especially for our people, our, our nation. Um, it's a game we've played uh, most regularly, 150 years um, this year, uh, from the, the first time we played them, and we played for a trophy. So it, it, it is the biggest game, whatever it comes in the, the calendar. Come, coming first, um, means that the the focus as we go into next week will be really sharp uh we're playing one of the best teams in the world the team that's won last year six nations so yeah wh why not have it as a first game um you you want to take on each of these challenges we get and there's there's no bigger than england away uh so it means that we'll we'll up our uh our edge even more next week at training and and really and, and the realization that we have to play our best to win uh, I probably don't want to share the approach we're going to take, but uh, we we this this week's about us embedding um, our game, no matter who we play against, and just getting back to our principles, attack, defense, um, getting the connections with with each with the team. Next week we will obviously address the strengths that England bring, maybe areas that we we think that we can put them under pressure. Uh, but who who knows what what England are going to bring this um, this championship? 
they, they may change their game. They may, they may stick to what's worked for them. But what we do know is that they'll be strong. Um, they're always de uh, they always get the detail right around their set piece, their defence, um, their attack execution, their kicking game. So that's what makes them such a good team, so tough to beat. Uh, and we'll just have to to bring our best game to to be able to do that. Well, we don't really have a target. We just we want to improve um, each time we come together. So obviously improvement um, from last year's Six Nations, uh, an improvement from the, the autumn campaign. Uh, and we know that you, you get new challenges uh, when you come together uh, each time with the opposition and with various things you have to adapt to. But we, we've been really pleased with the progress throughout 2020. Um, a lot of players have got to play international rugby as well. So they're, they're more prepared, ready for this huge tournament that we play in every year. Uh, so yeah, um, the the focus will be on improvement and our next game. Our next game's um, up against a team that won the tournament a year ago, so it's it's a big one for us. Uh, and then we'll move on to to Wales the following week. It is, um, but we're we're delighted that the the competition's still going ahead, and we know that very fact that people at home can watch their their nations playing um the tournament itself for, for sports fans that's a huge bonus uh, in these very difficult times uh, and we feel very privileged and lucky to to be in the be doing the thing that we love to do so we've we've got to not just um make the most of that privilege but take on the responsibility of of lifting our people in scotland and scottish supporters throughout the world uh, who are finding it tough right now and We'll, we'll be doing all we can to, to improve, work hard, find a way to win, uh, but also in the knowledge that if and when we do, that's going to give a huge boost to everybody back home. It, it, it is very important in, in the Six Nations. I think uh, you, you obviously get the points, but the, the, the win gives you so much confidence as you go on to the next week's game. Uh, I was very proud of the team last year and that we came very close to winning our first two games and in normal circumstances that would put you on a downer or or maybe um, change the focus for the, the remaining games. But our players kept at it and stayed in the fight uh, in the next few games and, and then delivered uh, an away win um, out in Italy and then a very good home win against France. So... That, that mindset, that consistency that we showed last year will be really important this year. But I, I do agree with you. <laughs> Momentum will help. Um, and looking at those first two games as well, that's that's a block that we're together. Um, getting some, something out of both games will be really important. Thanks. Yeah, it could. Uh, it certainly could. But you've got to make the most of that. Uh, England now, I've, I've been used to playing with no crowds. They played three or four international, three I think, international I think during that autumn nation. So it's less of a distraction or, or change of circumstances for them. But uh, it is an opportunity. Um, every game you play is an opportunity, but uh, we do understand that without 80,000 supporters there, um, it doesn't feel as much as a away game. It feels more of a 15 against 15 on a, on a neutral ground. So we just got to make sure we make the most of that opportunity. And not so much about um, not not joining, but we, we are well aware that um, different players uh, find it uh, tough, tough during this period anyway with what's all going on and um, in society. Um, different people have different challenges all the time. So we gotta we gotta make sure we're we're supporting those players uh, if they do find it tough um, and being aware when anybody's um, under any challenges. So we've made well being a, a huge priority uh, back in the autumn and even more so now. So we're hopeful that um, players will come forward if they're struggling at all, and what, there'll be solutions for for them to to help them through this this period. We we are not in a in a strict bubble, um, 
Stuart's going to be heading back with, with Johnny to Exeter uh, later today. Um, there's there's obviously other players at, at clubs in England that will be doing the same. Um, we've got to minimise the risk as much as possible of, of the virus coming into our camp because we know that could have a, a really negative effect on our, our performances. Um, but players will have the freedom to to go home if that's what they want to do um, or if they, they want to stay around this the supportive environment that, that we have here then uh, there, were, there will be solutions if, if anybody's struggling. Mm-hmm.